Hi guys. Today I'm making this gorgeous dream catcher cake out of Swiss meringue buttercream. That's right, you guys have been asking to see Swiss meringue piping in action, so I thought this would be the ultimate cake to do that with. I've been so keen to make this cake for you guys and I hope that you really enjoy watching. Now the first thing that you have to do to make this cake is to cover a rectangular board in some fondant that has tylose added. This is to help it set up and I just really like the idea of this cake being on a gorgeous board and it's gonna look so much prettier being able to pipe those feathers onto a nice colorful background. Next up, I've baked a seven inch round cake. I used our vanilla cupcake recipe. I know I keep calling it a vanilla cupcake recipe and all I do is keep using it for cakes, but trust me, it's great for cakes and cupcakes and I've got the link for you below. I also have a seven inch round cake plate as well as some spatulas and so many beautiful colors of our Swiss meringue buttercream recipe. Again, I've got a video link for you below and I have listed all the colors that I have used. I'm gonna add a little bit of buttercream to my board and place our first layer on. Now I'm gonna add a layer of our beautiful orange and then add your middle cake layer. Now taking our gorgeous teal shade, we're gonna add a layer of that. Now I'm just gonna come along and get rid of that excess. Now I wanna do a really light crumb coat on this cake. So I'm gonna be using the pink shade and I'm just gonna go around very, very lightly so that you don't end up seeing it when it's cut, but it just locks in those crumbs for us. Taking a scraper, just scrape it right back and then do the top. And then pop this into the fridge for about 10 or 15 minutes to set. Okay, now that my cake has chilled in the fridge, I've gone ahead and taken my three main colors and I've placed them into piping bags. And I've put some couplers on the end so that later on we can add some piping tips. But for right now, we just want it to be nice and thick and chunky to apply the colors to the side. So the first color I wanna add is my orange because that's lining up with my filling layer. And all I wanna do is go around the cake until I reach the top of that filling layer. You wanna make sure you get a fair bit on there. Then come along with my teal color. And lastly, our bright pink. And just come over the top just by a little bit. Now taking a scraper, we're gonna go around the side of the cake really slowly and gently. And just start to pull it back a little bit. Clean off your spatula and go again. And the key with this is really to do nice smooth movements and I really love the creaminess of the Swiss meringue or the Italian meringue buttercreams for this. Now coming along with a small spatula, I'm just gonna draw that in. Just stopping fairly short. Now I'm gonna go round with my pink. And then my teal. Taking a spatula and a paper towel, I'm gonna to go ahead and start smearing this, working in towards the center. back with a little bit of orange and fan it out the other way. And don't be surprised if you go through a few paper towels with this one. And just keep going backwards and forwards until you get a nice tie-dye pattern. Now it's time to pop the cake on its board. I'm just using a bit of buttercream. Now, if I was transporting this cake to somewhere else, I would make sure that this is royal icing because it will really help it to adhere better. Pry your cake off the turntable and then pop it down. The 
first color I'm going to work with is my orange and I've attached a number 12 piping tip which is a large round tip and what I want to do is pipe all the way around the edge of this cake starting anywhere you like and I like to stay raised off the surface and go nice and slow Stop your pressure and then just pull it in towards it. Now I'm going to take just the natural shade of our Swiss meringue and I'm going to pipe it into a beautiful pattern. I want to start by making a little circle in the middle and you can use a little round cookie cutter to help you with this shape. And then I'm just going to mark out exactly where 12 points are like a clock nice and easy you just want to break this up and make it easy to manage this piping then start piping staying nice and raised off and we want to make a big teardrop shape going all the way up to our circle and all the way around. Do the same with the opposite side. Work on the first four and then you can slowly add the rest. I want to now go ahead and add two little lines coming up and over that edge. just to look like little ties. And then I just want to go back over this circle just to make it raised up a little bit more. Just follow where it was. Now the really fun bit begins where we get to add some more personality to this cake, add in more of those gorgeous colors that I showed you earlier and work on any little imperfections. So if there's any bits on the top that you had where maybe you just accidentally dropped it for a second and had to restart your piping, go ahead and make it a feature. Pop a little bead in there. And I'm just using number five and number three tips for these. Now when it's time to make the hanging feathers, I want to make three little drop downs coming down from each of these main three. And I'm going to use a number five tip as well as a number three, just to add some variety. Just get some nice lengths in some of them. Now I'm going to start by adding the feathers. I'm using a number three tip, sweep in and then out. And add some little details over the top. and just slowly work them into the center. Now you can add some beads next to it. And 
and you can add another feather. Add a little pattern. And I want this one to have a second feather. And a cute little pattern again. Little V's, which kind of turn into tiny little triangles. Now on this last one, I'm just going to do what looks like lots and lots of beads. So I've got all my colours. Different size tips. And then just go around and jazz it up a little bit. A few more little patterns. And some beads on your feather ones. And there you are guys, we have our dream catcher cake. Like I said, I've been so excited to share this one with you. I've been wanting to make this one for a little while. You guys have been requesting to see some Swiss meringue buttercream piping in action. So I hope that you really enjoyed this and I can't wait to share more with you.